whether you like it or not, there are different categories of dreams. And when you want to look at the categories of dreams, what we mean is that to look at the patterns upon which dreams are revealed upon the face of the earth unto believers. The diverse ways where which dreams are revealed unto believers. The first way that we believe that dreams are revealed unto believers what we call the revelatory dreams. These revelatory dreams are actually prophetic and futuristic dreams. Many prophetic dreams are dreams that reveal the things to come and bring the speakings of God to the nations. Prophetic dreams are actually divine encounters about the natures of God and reveal the person of Christ unto a believer. Many prophetic dreams are similar to futuristic dreams too because futuristic dreams are dreams that reveal a reality about the future. What will become the future? Many people have had this type of dreams and saw how people will live in the future. You see yourself the way your future will look like, the way your life will look like in the future. Many of these futuristic, many of these futuristic dreams are actually important in the categorization of dreams. And a lot of times you can have dreams of world of knowledge. These are dreams that actually reveal specific details about a person. And most times these dreams of world of knowledge contain things that no one actually know naturally. You can have a dream the Lord can reveal to you something in the dream about somebody. And you go and tell the person strategically something that only him knows in the dream. And this thing may amaze the person because these are only things that only him knows. So a lot of time, God can actually, in the, in the, in the revelatory category of dream, God can actually reveal a thing to you and give it to somebody. I know several times, many of you have had dreams where you saw things about people. You're just sleeping and suddenly the Lord reveals something to you about somebody. And you know that what the Lord reveals to you is true. You went and tell the person, the person may tell you it's true, the person may decide and tell you that it's not true, but you know that what the Lord revealed to you is actually true about the person's life. And a lot of times, the person doesn't pay attention to it, the thing may come to pass and it will amaze the person that the thing come to pass. And apart from the world of knowledge dream, there are also world of wisdom dream. There are a lot of times when we require wisdom to counsel. Many more times, people can try to People can, people can be going through situations and they will meet you. And by the time you are sleeping, the Lord will reveal to you the solution of their problems in a dream. There are a lot of times that God reveals solutions to problems in dream. So there are dreams that actually carry wisdom to actually solve the problems of mankind. You must always understand that in the categorization of dreams, there are dreams that carry the divine counsel of God, that carry the instructions of God, but in the application of wisdom to be able to solve the problem of mankind. This is what we call the, the the, the the world of wisdom of dream because in the world of wisdom of dream you can literally be able to see what you ought to do to be able to bring a person out of a kind of dilemma and a kind of confusion there are also self-revelatory dreams a lot of times you can have a dream and see yourself in the realm of the spirit and see how much more you have advanced in god you are going to begin to see the current state of your spiritual nature a lot of those kind of dreams will actually reveal to you the heavens, tell you how much more your authority in the realm of the spirit is. You see a level of light and revelation in the spirit. Apart from that, there's what we call creative dream because most times many people have dreams and see themselves in the uh, seeing themselves actually seeing creativity, new level of creativity. Those people may actually be may not actually necessarily be in, in art classes, but they will see themselves creating things in a the dream. They will begin to have a dream and seeing themselves actually being able to create things. They will see specific and particular things in their dreams. And these specific and particular things are things that they ought to do. Many new inventions, new innovations, new developments. And that is why there are also dreams of inventions. Many more times you can realize that in your dream you begin to see God reveal to you new things that ought to be done upon the face of the earth. Scientific, scientific discovery, scientific experiment. You now begin to realize that far beyond what you read in the books, you begin to see a lot of things that you actually do not even understand. You must always understand that most of the inventions you see today are actually things that men got by the spirit of revelation. And there are also dreams that expose you. There are a lot of dreams that expose you to the realm of the spirit. Other dreams expose you to certain secret things for people. I mean like certain level of conspiracy, especially in keeping to an organization. Maybe somebody in your organization is stealing money and one day you cannot be sleeping and the Lord will reveal to you to let you understand why this is the, what the person is doing. You can even see where he's stealing the money and where he's putting the money. Or somebody in your organization is actually compromising. One the Lord can reveal to you strategically that this is what the person is doing just like in the case of the prophet how that he was able to see what the king is doing in his palace together with his nobles and the king was worried do you have a traitor among my nobles? he said no 
there is a prophet in israel that actually can see the things that actually the king is doing there is also destiny dreams what i mean by destiny dreams there are dreams that come to encourage you there are a lot of encouragement dreams. you can have certain kind of dream that is revealed to you how that the lord is just trying to encourage you those are dreams of encounters and visitation the lord encounters you to encourage you to let you understand that he loves you to let you understand that he's actually uh is actually there with you sometimes you have dream you see the lord with you you see the lord take you through different kind of location in the spirit you see the lord communicating to you those dreams may not just even actually give you any sense of direction or anything but it gives you a level of consolation and an assurance of salvation it also gives you a level of awareness that god is real that jesus christ is real and the kingdom of god is real and also that heaven is a reality the lot and that god encourages us in the dream Apart from that, God can also give you directional dreams. Directional dreams mean dreams that can guide you direction. Maybe you are asking the Lord, Father, where should I apply for a job? Where should I stay? Which state should I stay? Where should I actually work? What should I actually do? Then suddenly a dream will come to you, guiding you in that direction. And in the categorization of dreams, there are directional dreams. Dreams that direct you on what you ought to do. A lot of times, I want to go for a meeting and ask the Lord, Father, how do you want the meeting to be tomorrow? And the Lord will tell me, Philip, when you go, do this and do that and do this and do that. It is, I will do this and do that and do this because I saw it in a dream. You must understand that a lot of time, you must always be able to pay attention to your dream. If you saw in your dream yourself in a meeting, lay hands on the sick. Know that when you go for that meeting, you ought to lay hands on the sick. If you saw yourself in a dream casting out devil in a meeting, you know that when you go there, you ought to cast out devils. If you saw yourself in a dream teaching people, and even if they invite you for an impartation meeting, when you go for that meeting, teach the people. When you saw yourself in a dream standing in the location in the in the in the auditorium, when you go there, stand in that location. Anything you saw, sometimes you can even see the members. The people that are going to be attending the meeting in your dream, ensure that you do as you are directed in your dream. There are also dreams that reveal your calling. Many times people are confused in keeping to their calling. Many of us, the Lord appeared to me and let me know who I will be. And the reason why, when people start asking and talking about, are you sure you are called of God? Are you sure you are called of God? If it's not, if it's clicking you, oh God, go and stay with the Lord. Ask the Lord for the Lord to reveal to you who you are. If the Lord did not reveal to you who you are, then continue to seek Him. Continue to love Him. Don't designate anything in giving to your life. Just love the Lord genuinely. One day the Lord will appear to you. He will reveal to you who you are. Because the callings of the Lord also come to you through your dreams. God can reveal to you who you are. There are people that the Lord have appeared to you and told them you are a prophet. No matter what you tell them, the Lord has told them they are a prophet. There are other people that the Lord appeared to and said you are an evangelist. No matter what you told them. No matter what you tell them now. The Lord has already told them they are an evangelist. What is your own problem? You must understand the callings of men are defined to them via their dreams. It's possible for the Lord to reveal to you your purpose, your calling. Many people, God revealed to them their assignment through a dream. What they ought to do, whether to start an orphanage home, whether to start up a ministry, whether to start up a business, whether to start anything, whether to start up a company. God revealed those things strategically to them through a dream. There are dreams that reveal to your purpose and calling in God. You must understand that these things are well defined. Take them very seriously. Write them down. Set those goals. There are a lot of times that God comes to reveal this thing to you. But you wake up and say, it's just a dream. No. It cannot just be a dream. You must be able to be serious about them and take them seriously. If not, they will never be fulfilled in your life. The dreams in giving to our destinies are very important. They are extremely important in our life. Many people have neglected these dreams and today they cannot fulfill destiny. And because today they are also being confused about their purpose and their callings in life. Many people have had a dream of them standing before a lot of people preaching, standing before a lot of people teaching, standing, a lot of people, standing before a lot of people either doing a business seminar or something or demonstrating the power of God or singing or worshipping or ministering. Many people have seen themselves dressed in, in doctor's uniform. Many people have seen themselves in classroom of teachers. Many people have seen themselves in business. Many people have seen themselves traveling to different countries in their dreams. Let me tell you, many more times, you must be able to understand that your dreams in keeping to your destiny are well guided by the Lord. You must understand that most of the dreams that you are having at night are actually defining your callings in God. Many times when we get this college in destiny and in life, it's because God sent all these kind of dreams and we didn't pay attention to them. We didn't keep track to them. There is nothing I am doing today that I have not dreamt about it. There is nothing I am doing today that I have not seen it before. I have seen them. I have believed in them. Even before you are even believing in me today, you must actually be able to understand. Look at the life of Joseph. Joseph was just a lad. 
He had a dream. He saw the sun and the moon and the stars bowing down to him. Nobody believed him. In the dream, he didn't see himself in a dungeon. He didn't see himself in the prison. But I assure you, he was sure that he saw the sun and the moon and the stars bowed down to him. He told his brothers they got angry, but he was sure that he actually had a dream in keeping to his destiny. And of course, at the third end, it's a parable of the night because the sun and the star and the moon didn't bow down to him, but his siblings and his brothers and his fathers and everything bowed down to him. The sun and the moon symbolizes his mother and his mother, and all the stars and his brothers, they bowed down to him. In the same way, in the parable of the night, you can have a dream and see all kinds of things. Let me tell you, people don't just clap for you like that in life. People are forced to clap. People don't just bow to you. People are forced to bow. As you begin to advance in life, people are forced. They are forced to celebrate you. People will never celebrate you. Nobody will blow your whistle. Nobody will appreciate you. Nobody will celebrate you. Forget about them. Continue to believe in your destiny. Continue to walk towards your destiny. I'm assuring you, when you succeed in life, they will bow. People will bow. Success has a force. It attracts people. I always say, success has many friends. It's only failure that stand alone. When a man succeeds, he has many more friends. When you fail, you have nobody. Even you don't want to be a friend to yourself. You must always understand that nobody will clap for you. Nobody will appreciate you. Nobody will celebrate you. Nobody will do that. Continue to believe in the destiny that the Lord has apportioned unto you. Those dreams, those encounters you're having. You may have nothing today. You may be drinking Gary. You may not even have you may not even have food to eat. But you see yourself serving food to the nations. You see yourself giving food to the nations. You see yourself feeding the nations. You may not even have any money in your account today. But you see yourself as a philanthropy. You see yourself raising and you see yourself having NGOs giving money to the nation, lending money to the nations. Don't worry. Believe in those things. I assure you, it will come to pass. One of the things I'm sure in scripture is that many things will always come to pass in life and when you believe in those things the time is going to come people that talk against you people that refuse to bow they will bow they will be forced to bow the sons of jacob you are forced to bow when joseph saw the sun and the moon and the star bowing they refused to bow they killed him they, in fact, they sent him away to go and die but mind you no matter how they do when a man believes in his vision and his dream so much he cannot be killed it's when you don't believe in it that it will be killed I assure you, and I realize that the pain of giving up on your vision and your dream can never be compared with the pain of not fulfilling it. You must always be able to understand that destiny dreams actually show you direction and the leading of the Holy Spirit. You must respond to them. Apart from that, there are what we call transformational dreams. These are actually dreams that reveal to you the healing power of God, the cleansing power of God, the deliverance power of God, the comforting power of God. And this kind of dream most times come to assess your level in God. You can have a dream and the Lord will show you in your dream that you are backslidden, that you are backslidden. You will know. Most of those dreams show you how you are backslidden. You see decadence. You see deceleration. Sometimes you have a dream, you see yourself possessed. You have a dream, you see yourself needing deliverance. Sometimes you have a dream, you see yourself delivering people. You see yourself needing healing. You see yourself healing people. All of these dreams are transformational dreams. These are dreams that refer to you that actually you need to be able to actually change certain things so that as you change this in physically, they will change spiritually. I realize that a lot of times God brings healing to us through dreams. A lot of people tell you they have received their healings through dreams. There are a lot of people that have, have just actually were sick and as they were sleeping, they had an encounter and they saw somebody come and lay hands on them and they were healed of that sickness. You must understand that sicknesses and diseases can be healed through dream, through an encounter. There are a lot of people that receive deliverance, demo- cleansing from any kinds of demonic oppressions and spiritual contamination and stagnation through dreams. I need you to understand that the power of God can break through you through at night times and bring you deliverance at all times. You must understand that God is not limited. God can come to you at any time. At any time he decided and he can bring a, a healing and a deliverance for you even through a dream. Because God is God and is not limited to time. You must always understand that sometimes a lot of time you find yourself being delivered in your dream. You find yourself being delivered through an encounter. It's actually a dream and actually that dream carries the energy of the Lord to deliver you. So you cannot just say it's only a dream. No, it carries a substance of it. You must believe in it. There are also dreams of changes. There are a lot of times that God comes and reveals to you through your dream that you need to actually change certain things about your life. Sometimes you tell you change an attitude, change a way of life. 
most of times god brings you dreams of warning he wants you on certain things what you about certain kind of lives that you are living warn you about a friend there are times when the lord will give you them and tell you be careful about this person be careful about these friends be careful about these people be careful about this association there are a lot of times that god comes to actually give you a dream and tell you to repent god will demand that you repent and restitute there are all kinds of instructions that come through a dream there are times that god will give you a dream and tell you can you actually show love to this person can you actually give this person can you actually do this this person all of those dreams need to pay attention to what because the lord speaking to you you cannot just say it's just a dream no it actually has a substance of reality when you pay attention to this dream your life will change you don't need to be hearing one special voice of god paying attention to the little instruction that god gives you through a dream actually can actually grant unto your advantage upon the face of the earth there's also dream that show you spiritual activity like warfare like impartation and intercession there are a lot of times that the lord will give you dream to let you understand need for you to intercede you will find yourself appearing in different countries praying for the countries there are a lot of times that people can be praying in nigeria and seeing themselves in china praying for china you can be in nigeria and see yourself in the united states of america praying for the united states of america you can be in nigeria and be praying for south africa you can be in south africa and praying for nigeria being in zimbabwe praying for malawi you can be in different in uk praying for dubai there are many times that god will actually borrow you as a spiritual entity in your dream to be interceding for different nations and there are times when god will tell you that actually in your dreams this is what you ought to do so you find yourself in your dream actually interceding or worrying in your dream fighting every kinds of spiritual warfare so there are spiritual activity that are done through dreams and these things are not just like that you see yourself in the dream fighting you will see sword come out in your hand you will see arrows you will see bow you will see all kinds of things certain people see knife certain people see certain kind of weapons of war in their hands god give them weapons and they begin to battle you see yourself fighting among an army you see yourself fighting together with angelic beings you see yourself fighting together with beasts and darkness and demonic entities sometimes you see yourself fighting with all kinds of wild animals sometimes you see yourself wrestling with snakes wrestling with lions wrestling with all kinds of beasts sometimes you see yourself wrestling with people all of those dreams are actually warfare dreams dreams that actually grant you advantage in the spirit sometimes you see yourself with gun in the spirit shooting a gun you see yourself doing all kinds of things these things are very very vital and uh, important another time you see yourself in a dream carrying uh carrying uh maybe driving a car you see yourself in a dream flying a helicopter you see yourself in a dream doing all kinds of these things are actually dreams that contain spiritual activity sometimes you see yourself in a dream going for evangelism you see yourself in a dream receiving an impartation or actually administering impartation into another person sometimes you see yourself in a dream traveling to different parts of country with different kind of people you must actually believe in these dreams if you must be able to advance in life i need to i need to understand that don't always believe what people are telling you about dreams a lot of people believe that eating the dream is demonic that may be true but it's not always true there are a lot of time that you fellowship with the in the realm of the spirit with the lord and in the fellowship in communion i serve and the service of the communion is an impartation that comes via eating the dream of course there are other times when you eat in a dream that is demonic but you must be able to define that many more times there are people that eat in their dream even in the bible times and actually what they receive is an impartation because communion and part of what is done feasting with the lord and fellowshipping is you eating in the dream so else most of those misconceptions in keeping to that when a man eats in a dream is going to be possessed where well, those may be true certain people but i assure you if i see myself eating the dream I will go back to eat again anytime I'm hungry because the devil cannot feed me and actually intend that he will actually call up me. No, the Lord has actually sanctified anything I eat. You must understand that when Peter actually had the dream of seeing, seeing animals lay down to eat, the Bible says nothing of them is unclean. You must understand that the reason why you're eating in a dream is demonic because your strength in the spirit is small. Grow again. And many more times people believe that the era of revelation in dreams are over. It's a lie. God still reveals things to people to today. God still reveals things. Many of the people you see today that are relevant today are actually men that works by revelation and most of the revelation that works by they are things that are revealed to them by god they are strong men of revelation you must also have to understand that people will only tell you that you don't have control over your dream it's a lie you can control your dreams when you control your physical activity you control your dreams and also any dream you have is not absolute you can actually influence it you can actually change it via prayer you can change the outcome of your dreams dreams are not absolute they exist in the realm of the spirit but it can be changed if you do nothing about them they will happen as they are and many more times people believe 
that dreams are just the overflow of the thoughts in our heart is a lie well it's part of it but most times dreams are actually the way god communicates to us we must always be able to believe that god communicates to us through the patterns of our dreams god communicates to us and encounter us through dreams it's not just thoughts in your mind the same thing visions are not just only thoughts in your mind many of you say hey i feel something i yet no it is the lord speaking to you if you believe is the lord speaking to you the lord will speak to you like that can you ask the lord and say father help me to pay attention to my dreams and to my visions i trust the lord be tomorrow being the last day we are going to go in depth into interpretation of dreams and the dictionary of dream the dreamipedia how you can be able to interpret the parables of the night and also be able to interpret your own dream and also how to be able to journal your own dream because a lot of you the reason why you cannot interpret your dream because you don't write them down when you write a dream down and read it all the time naturally on its own the reality will be open unto you because the spirit will not know that you are interested in it so can you ask the lord say father give me the grace to pay attention to my dreams in the name of jesus i pray